Thank you for being here. How you doing? Let the room give you some love. Happy September 27th. Happy fall. Happy autumn. How are you going to celebrate it? Happy Equinox. <laughs> Happy 30 years of Philadelphia. I'm here. And I came here and I'm only 21. I don't know how to <laughs> but um, I'm so happy that I stayed because I, I thought it was only going to be here for like a year or so. If I, would, if I did that, I don't think there's anybody in this room I would have known because if I stayed only a year. But for some reason, it, 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 I got hooked in, um, and, and 30 years later, I'm here. So officially, I signed my lease in 1993. Well, this is 1993, and it's been, I've been signing a lot of leases since then. <laughs> That's another story. <laughs> 12 years as an independent artist, 12 years, no, no job to support me, no, no safety net, no parents, because they're long gone, so it's just me and the divine energy. Can you do this? And that means that anybody can do it. Whatever it is, that's what you need to have faith in what you say you have and your gifts, etc. And really believe in it because the one that does not co sign that, just to let you know, that's sick because I cried on the shoulders many times that, um, about it. But 12 years as an independent artist and started working somewhere in the halfway mark, it started. To shift the first six years, five years was like, uh, but somewhere I don't know when it happened, but somewhere on the line, I wasn't looking for gigs anymore. They were calling me because Sonia Sanchez said, visibility then revenue. Yes, yes, give that back to you visibility then revenue. Do not try to tell anybody what your visibility is supposed to look like, you're just gonna have to see the results of it. Because this is really, I would say it could be in a little tiny room, it could be in a big space or whatever, but it's the visibility that, that changes and makes a revenue happen. And your faith in yourself. That's what I got. And I'm a new fellow! Thank you, Drew. So this party is on me. We get this party started. <laughs> this party is on me tonight. Thank you so much for being here. You all have touched my life in some shape or form, whether it was for 30 seconds, 30 days, 30 weeks, 30 months, 30 years plus, whatever it is. But you all here, everybody here, even at least two people that came in from the school, I only learned it for 30 seconds, so I'm going to put you in that category. <laughs> it's just like that. I love, I love what I do. I love it. Can I tell you, I love what I do. I love what I do. The most important thing I love about it is I get to collaborate with so many people right here. <laughs> they sort of make sure I got to do that drum thing because right here is a real drum is right here. All that drum is right here. All that drum is really kept me in the room. I want to see Francis. Kept me right on that room. So thank you so much. I love you. I appreciate you. Love you more. Yes. So let's get it started. Um, we're going to play some music. we got to open mic. We want folks to have fun, fun, fun. we got Vanessa on the saxophone, Vanessa Taylor. Yay! 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 Thank you so much. And a host of other people coming to share their love on the mic and then some. And um, there's no order whatsoever how it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Okay. And I think they're going to be serving food soon. So stick around for that because it's really good. I'm feeling. <laughs> One of the reasons why I had to pick this room is because the first project that I ever did here, one of the first projects I did here in Philadelphia was write a play. And I did a reading of it right in this room, 
and the musical called Three Dangerous Three and James Song and Alfie Pollock wrote the music. And we use this as a song if you remember that. And we use this tiny room and I just fell in love with this room to come back here and do something again. There was something else too, a poetry thing or something as well. And that's why I wanted this room to become it and remind me of my journey. So that's why we're here in this particular room and not in the room. And we all just fit right in, you know, so it just feels good. So I had a, a moment of something but earlier because there was this emergency situation that happened. I don't know really what went on, but it was happening at Door and Cecil B. Moore, and it might have had something to do with either the transit. It had something to do with transit because transit police were there, and then the regular police were there. It's just a lot of people screaming and hollering and everything. So I just want to send extra energy to sometimes we one of the things to to kind of take things down is you can't put more of the same energy at it. You have to somewhere. It has to come down. But if the emergency vehicle come, comes in and it takes it all up and it gets more hype and everything, it's totally out of control. So just for a moment, if you want to close your eyes too, I just want to take it down. Yeah. <laughs>
stress because I'm losing my mind because I may be failing chemistry or <laughs> you know it's, it's, it usually has a different meaning but you know I'm just going to share that with you today <laughs> okay um
remember me. I want to sing something? Oh, sure. Acapella ish. Ish. Yeah. Hello. 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 Um, I'm not going to sing anything too long, but uh, um, a little jazz. I'm going to try. All right. All right. Summertime and the living is easy. Fish are jumping and the cotton is high. Oh, your daddy's rich and your mind's good.
Wow. Kappa. Kappa raises it really well. Thank you so much for shooting. How you doing? You get a chair? I'm here to. All right, whatever you want to do. Whatever that is. All right, no, no, what you doing here? So thank you for all being here. This is Karen's 30th year in Philadelphia. Yeah. 12 years as an independent, as an independent artist, right? 12 years. Um, what else? What else? My people fell off. I forgot. Yeah. My people fell off. <laughs> so yes. 2023 to 2025, what you will take care of me for at least two years. If I play my cards right, I would go longer. You know? so, maybe I'll just live in the office because they said you can stay and do whatever you want there. So, so you never know. But thank you so much. If I slept on your couch because I went through a period where I wanted to get rid of my bills because I was carrying so much debt. So for four and a half years, I slept on different people's couch. Some of them are here, open their doors. And, um, and that's how I was able to live oh, now and cash for my stuff. Because I got rid of all my debt <laughs> in the four and a half years. Wow. Um, in order to make this successful and not keep going back and forth with, I need a job, I need a job, I need a job. This is a job. Yeah. Hustling is a job. This just doesn't have, if you punch in and out, it's, you know, 24 7. Creativity for me is 365. So, you know. As soon as my eyes see the new day, it's like, what's next? What's next? What's next? And fortunately enough that I don't have to say that too much because people have found ways keeping me busy. So I am really booked through 2025. <laughs> 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 In some kind of way, I'm working, you know. So, and I appreciate all that. So thank you for the love. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the love in this room. Thank you for the love out there. Let's send some love outside to the folks that are here. Okay, so we're gonna play another song. I bet there's some poets in the house though. There's some poets in the house though. There's some poets in the house though. Yo, there's some poets in the house. Give me that beat. Yo, there's some poets in the house, y'all. Hey, there's some poets in the house, y'all. and how Karen came into my life and many of these other artists in here as well. I said, you know what? It's just time for me to lean on my pen and time for my voice to be heard. So I'm just going to kick it off with one piece and I'm going to spell the definition of what poetry is. <laughs> Thank you. I'm a little nervous but I'll be over. When you hear the word poetry, what comes to your mind? So let me just spell it out for each and every one of you line by line. So you got your P for purposeful, and you got your O for being optimistic, and you can follow by the E, which represents being eccentric. And then you got T for talented, and R for your realness, and then we want to end it with a Y, because Y is only you, and only you can make it work. So that's why I spell out poetry. What you need is to 
a second piece that I'm going to talk about. My resignation to misery. So how many of you ever heard of that saying, misery loves company? Well, guess what? That is the truth. And a far away of being alive. So, let me kick it off with a little bit of a beat. Red and yellow and green and blue. Purple and orange and gray.
know what you want to do. I don't 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 know what you want to do. I know. 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 I so, I saw this photo of Karen with her black and white hat on and the black and white top and I wanted to make this for her. Yeah.
stop getting that out of your head, go do it. Like, because I do poetry and I played drum when I was a kid. Some of y'all know me only as a poet. But I played drum when I was a kid. And um, Karen would bring me up to, to, on, the, on the stage doing open mics. And she's like, I'm poetry. I'm like, I'm not playing drum in front of these people. But her energy is like, yeah, I'm gonna actually do it. You say no in your head, but your body says yes. You know what I mean? Like, like, yeah, she said, come in today, but now you're just here. You didn't know what you were going to do for real. But I just want to say, Karen is really inspiring. Um, um, for years, uh, she can come to open mics, do poetry sometimes. She does plays. Yes. I can't tell you what she doesn't do. Um, but I want, what I'm trying to get out is that um, over lockdown, um, she would just, she would find me. She would tell me to come places. She would tell me to do things. And more and more, I find myself playing the drums to the where it is my habit now. It's my hobby. I do it a lot at home. And uh, earlier this year, I got my first set of drums. Y'all know who I got it from? journey and along that journey we will make mistakes you know but if you're not making mistakes you're not going any place that means you ain't did nothing you understand so don't be hardened when you, you make a mistake because it's not a mistake it's a learning lesson and so i wanted to share a little poem that i did about making a mistake and uh, and we, which Karen and I are freelancer, right? Okay, we're freelancer? Yeah. I'm a freestyle to shut up. If that was his fault. I'm a freelancer. 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 I'm a You made a mistake on a task so easy with a piece of cake? Did you feel rejected and a bit depressed? You tried to move on, but you must not the rest. Did you say to yourself, why try again? Before you know, this time you can win. For with every mistake, there is something to learn. And you too will add yet another turn to 
the streets where it's tough, take on the fight. I'm sure this time you'll do it right. And should you happen to take a fall, keep standing proud and hold your head on. But there's much to gain and nothing to lose. My gravity decisions, it's you who must choose. So never give up and for good to sing. Just think it was only a silly mistake. And the last thing I want to share with y'all, and I really want you to think about, and it's a, it's a, a South African saying of how they greet each other. And the saying is, Sarbono. And the response is, EP Sarbono. And the reason I like this so much, because it's not, how are you, or hey, how you doing? Sarbono literally means, I see you. I see you. I see you. Oh, 
feeling everywhere I should say Loving, hugging, kissing. One day I got makeup all on her shirt and she wasn't looking at me. I love you. I appreciate you. And I would like to um, have some to go around. <laughs> And I just appreciate you so much. And we met way back when in these Philly streets. <laughs> so, you know, we met Karen. It was like, what, 2010? Was it 2010? I don't know. It was through um, Kaleidoscope Cultural Arts Collective, um, KCAC Theater Company. We met. Um, I was doing a play with KCAC. I was acting in some play with KCAC. And Karen was... She's good for us, and we have been rolling ever since. We've been roll buddies ever since, and I'm just honored to be in your circle of friends and circle of folk. And um, yeah. I just want to move with you. I said I missed the groove train a minute ago, so start the groove over there. Start the groove over there. Yeah, I got a groove on. Start the groove. Start the groove. Feel it. You want to start some drums though? We got a lot of uh. We're gonna beat that.